tonight. Stunning allegations from three Aboriginal representatives about Bruce Pascoe, the best-selling author who says he's Aboriginal, linked to three Aboriginal tribes. Now, Bruce Pascoe calling himself Aboriginal has, I think, helped his career. It has made critics, in my opinion, less likely to call him out for peddling bad history. And speaking of very bad history, Pascoe is the author of Dark Emu. He's the man who claims that Aborigines weren't hunter-gatherers, like almost every credible historian has said, but it said farmers. They were farmers with houses and towns of a thousand people, pens for animals, well 70 foot deep, and so on. Now, Pascoe's evidence for the claims in his book and for his talks often turns out to be based on amazing misquotations of his sources. Uh, exaggerations too. In fact, even inventions, as I've shown here and in my columns in the News Corp papers over the last couple of weeks. But critics in the past just ignored all that or they didn't bother to check. Instead, Pascoe's Dark Emu won Book of the Year and the Indigenous Writers' Prize of the New South Wales Premier's Literary Awards. It's now going into schools and the ABC is about to screen a two-part series promoting Pascoe and his odd theories. Indeed, when I pointed out that Pascoe's work contained falsehoods, ABC presenter suggested it was just a racist. Virginia Trioli, I hope you're watching this show. And there, in fact, you have it. You see, one reason Bruce Pascoe seems critic-proof, I think, is that he does say he's Aboriginal, even though he's very white. In fact, Pascoe says he's a member of no fewer than three Aboriginal tribes. The Ewan from New South Wales, the Boonwurrung from Victoria, and an unspecified tribe from Tasmania. Here is Pascoe on the ABC. Uh, my name is Bruce Pascoe, and I'm a Ewan Boonwurrung and Tasmanian man. In fact, as I've mentioned before, genealogical records like this one here uh, compiled and checked by researchers from the darkemuexposed.org website show that every single one of Pascoe's ancestors are in fact of British descent. And that includes both of his mother's grandmothers, one of whom Pascoe this year claimed yet again was his Aboriginal ancestor, although at other times he said, well, not so sure after all. When Pascoe nominated one of his two great-grandmothers on his mother's side. He must have meant one of two women, obviously. Uh, but one of them, a Mrs Smith, was in fact English and never left England. And that left Elizabeth Jane Hall as the only candidate. But both her parents were English, say the records. Now, sure, there could have been a mistake. I don't know. Uh, an illegitimate birth. And I've twice asked Pascoe to explain whether I'm wrong here, where the mistake is, he will not respond. But for him, it's just got a lot more of a problem. Because tonight, more evidence against Bruce Pascoe and his claimed Aboriginality. An extraordinary intervention. The three tribes that Pascoe says is connected to don't think he's Aboriginal at all. Tasmania, for instance. Michael Mansell, head of the Aboriginal Land Council of Tasmania, this afternoon told me that Pascoe has no Aboriginal heritage, or no Tasmanian Aboriginal heritage, and his claim is absurd. Pascoe, Mansell says that Pascoe's claim to be Tasmanian is that his parents married there and an Aboriginal was at the wedding. And only recently, says Mansell, has Pascoe jumped from saying that to saying he's actually Aboriginal himself, and he's not says Mansell. I might put his statement up on my blog later. From Victoria's Boonwurrung this afternoon, the Boonwurrung being a second tribe that, Mans that uh, Pascoe said is a member of. From the Boonwurrung, another angry rejection of his claims. Jason Briggs is a lawyer and the chairman of the Boonwurrung Land and Sea Council. And he says, we do not accept Mr Bruce Pascoe as possessing 
any Boomerang ancestry at all. And he goes on to tell me it never did. Briggs says the Boonwurrung has, they've got a sophisticated ancestral database and Pasco is not of their tribe. And he adds Bruce Pasco should come clean about his real ancestry and stop abusing and benefiting from our community's cultural integrity and money should instead go to those who most need it. He also wants, Briggs also wants governments to stop turning a blind eye to this stuff, particularly Victoria's Labor government. Now, I should point out that there's also a rival Bunurong group, breakaway group from the Boomerang. But that one's in a little bit of strife, shall I say. I won't go into that. Bottom line, Bruce Pascoe, your claim to be Aboriginal, looks very, very shaky. I've asked him to respond to these latest allegations, like I've asked him to respond to previous ones, whether he does this time, I'll let you know if he does. But this for him is now an issue he must clear up.